So we're here at the next era site today to deliver a message about the, the actions that they took by cutting down that eagle's nest there a week or so ago. Um, this isn't the site where I was at, it was over in this direction over here, but this is the company that did it. And we have been uh, in a, what I thought is a good faith negotiation process with Nextera. We, um, the Haudenosaunee advised them of our position on leaving that eagle's nest alone, and what they did is they worked with the Ministry of Natural Resources behind our back and came in on a Saturday and cut that nest down without any engagement, without any discussions with us, and it was really bad faith um, on the part of Nextera and the Ministry, and so today, we're here to deliver them a message that those kind of actions aren't going to be tolerated, and if they continue to, um, uh, if they continue to to act in bad faith, then we'll shut them down like we did the other company this morning. Hey, now this is like a huge industrial facility here. It what is. are they? What is going on? This is all part of the GREP, the Grand Renewable Energy Project. That whole Capital Power stuff, Samsung, Nextera. This is all part of what Ontario set out with the Green Energy um, Project, and so. Um, Again, I said I'm not against green energy, but I am against them stomping on our treaty rights. Like they don't have to listen, or they don't have to engage with the Haudenosaunee, or or to engage with other, um, you know, individuals in the area. No, this is not right. This is not right. We're come here in peace, and we expect that if you treat us with, with peace, then that's how it will remain. We can't respond on the owner. The owner is hiding. And that trailer over there is He's hiding. Gone. He's got the door locked. I can't call him. We can't call him. I'm not taking it out on you, but you can call him and tell him we're not going anywhere. We want to just speak to him and tell us, tell him our concerns. And we expect that he should be man enough to do that. If he's man enough to build on our land, and he should be build man enough to come out and talk to us. We we are expecting him. Where'd he go? Let's go to this trailer, go to that trailer, go to that trailer, and we're just locking the doors. We're not animals, we just, we have rights, we have reasons to have them here. I do it, Okay. You know, like you guys know about Idle No More and the movement that's happening, oh, all the oh, protests are coming in. Everybody does for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What did you people, how do people feel about it here? Oh, I totally do. You play a fight for it, man. Really? I totally do. Yeah. Right on. How does it, what do you, what do you mean? Like, can you say more? Well, you guys like, signed the treaty, right, hundreds of years ago, and our country should stick with that. I totally agree with what you're fighting for. I would too. Right on. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is Bert Thomas. Hi, you Bert. Bert. Hi, Bert. Hi, Bert. Hi, Bert. I had to call Ben and tell you it's okay. We're not going to. You're not here to hurt you or nothing. And we're not here to shut you down either. But we are here to deliver a message. Okay. Um, our people, our Confederacy, our community. Everybody is really upset at what happened over that Eagles nest being taken down. And you know that we're supposed to be in good faith negotiations through sure. the HDI and with Nextera. And that action was uh, considered as uh, really bad faith, really bad faith. And so the message that we're here to let you know today is, is that um, we need to know that the people that we're sitting across the table with are honorable people and that sure. they're capable of engaging in a good faith negotiation process with the Haudenosaunee. This is our treaty territory. Our responsibility isn't just about, it's not just about you putting up your towers. We need to make sure that we're being responsible for all of creation, including that eagle. And you took that away from us by doing what you did, by working behind the scenes, behind our backs with the Ministry of Natural Resources and taking it down without any kind of discussion with us. So we're here to let you know that if that kind of behavior continues, this site's going to get shut down altogether. Okay. Okay. Right. Donate. Thank you. Donate. Okay. Okay. Well, the first five sites we visited this morning were by a company known as Capital Power. Capital Power is a is a uh, wind power company out of. Uh, Alberta that has been refusing to engage with the Haudenosaunee in our treaty territory. So they were shut down completely today and uh, advised that uh, they were already put on notice back in August of 2012. They were provided a cease and desist order by our Haudenosaunee traditional government. And so um, their construction site was shut down because they're failing to engage with the Haudenosaunee. This site here today is Nextera. And Nextera is another company uh, that does wind power and solar power. But they were being delivered a message today that um, when they cut down that eagle's nest, that was a really, um, I guess it was a violation to us against creation. And so we are here to deliver a really strong message today that if they continue with those types of actions, um, disrespecting creation, then we'll, we'll be shutting them down as well. So what do you hope to have? What's your main goal for all this? Our goal is to have uh, developers show some respect to the Haudenosaunee when they come in our treaty territory. This isn't just uh, any area, these are our treaty lands and we have a right to be engaged with respect to any kind of development that goes on here. And so what I'm hoping that they'll understand is that when our chiefs give a cease and desist order, they're to respect it. Or if we have a good faith negotiation table that they should be honorable and upfront enough to tell us what they're doing instead of sneaking behind our backs and chopping down a, a tree um, just in order to get Yeah. So, so uh, what's next from here then? Well, what's next is up to them. We delivered our message today. So obviously if the production keeps going on, you just need to come back? This site, we're engaged in good faith. Capital power sites, if they try to start up construction again, they'll be shut down again. Can I just ask, what is your title? Please? Just My name is Hazel Hale, and I'm interim director of the Haudenosaunee Development Institute. Thank you. Are you against the windmills? Remember her Not backup? at all. I think that as a, as a people, we have to start realizing and looking at um, the green energy as a whole. Uh, we've been taking from the earth and, and we've been um, utilizing nuclear and, and the, the natural resources to no end. And so I think that we really have to be a responsible people and start looking at green energy. In our Ohindagaliwadakwa, we give thanks for the sun, we give thanks for the wind. And so those things the Creator provided for us every day. And so if these, um, the green energies are utilizing those things and we give thanks for them, then they must be okay.